welcome back to another episode of Uncover, where each episode we discuss a topic in three minutes or less. So before we get started, I'd love it if you got involved in this week's conversation and you can do that by either leaving a comment in the comment section of the video, this video underneath or you can tweet me at UTU blog and you can use the hashtag myuntold or you can leave me a comment on my Facebook page. So this week's topic and we are looking at whether beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I think the best way to look at this um, topic, I guess, is to look at it from either side. So the first side, I, I would be like, well, yes, we're all individuals and we all have our own different thoughts and our own opinions. So what I think is beautiful, you may think is not beautiful. And what you think is beautiful, I might think is not beautiful in my kind of understanding and my definition of beauty. So in that sense, like I said, I guess that's the yes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder because the beholder is me and I think, um, this is beautiful, I think this isn't beautiful, so on and so forth. But to the other side, if we flip the coin and we could say, well, maybe beauty isn't in the eye of the beholder, maybe to an extent, and I kind of think to an extent, that there is this kind of idolised beauty, this kind of, maybe what society has told us is beautiful, what we see in magazines, what we see in wherever we are, even what's around us. And I think it's kind of sad, really, that to some extent there's this popularised kind of what is beautiful, especially when it comes to um, physical beauty. So is beauty actually in the eye of the beholder? And overall, I think that beauty can be in the eye of the beholder, but the beholder is you as we've kind of discussed and it's about really evaluating what you see as beautiful and what is your, what are the things that's like telling you what is beautiful and what isn't, what, what are your influences, what's influencing you and your thoughts. So beauty can be in the bio, eye of the beholder but it also depends on what is influencing the beholder, that is what I'm trying to say. So that is it for this video, what do you think, do you think beauty is in the eye of the beholder or do you think maybe that there's an idealised um, kind of opinion on beauty and if so why do you think that or what, what do you think that idealised opinion is and until next time thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave your video suggestions for next week's video well the next video and um, I will see you in the next one hi guys and welcome back to my channel so I thought with autumn coming up this would be the perfect time to show you my five favourite red lipsticks